Hi booktube, it's Stephanie. So today I'm going to share with you all the books that I'm planning to read for April. So I took a definite break in March. I just had zero motivation to film or do anything. So I took a break and I really liked it. So yes. So today I'm going to share with you the books that I want to read for April and I'm not playing my game for this month because I'm going to participate in the Medical Readathon Aurelium edition. And yes, I'm gonna link the video down below where she announced the Spring uh, Equinox. Now she had in the Gear Up Readathon said that she was maybe pushing this forward a month or something. She did not. Which, I mean, I love it, but I had plans for outfit and yeah, but I can do that in the in August instead for the um, autumn uh, equinox instead. But my character is aiming to become a necromancer. So with a side of demonology, depending on, um, it depends on basically what I get uh, done reading, but I am still going to have like a book for each prompt, just in case, maybe. Well, actually I don't because some books are like, I have no idea what to pick for them. So they will just show up when they do, but yes. Now, um, Necromancer and Demonology has five prompts in common. So I will start with those. The first one is uh, lore. Uh, and that is a book that's inspired by mythology. So for that I have Hallahem, Staden under Berget by Susanne Trydahl and Daniel Olin. Now this is a middle grade in which we are following Turun, Turun, Turun and Auda who lives in the city under the mountains uh, where they are Vitro. Um, like fake creature, even though it's not fake. Vitro. And they hear, hear a rumor that their city is in danger, but there is this human girl that might be able to save them. And then basically them meeting the girl, I guess. And yes, so this is for lore because it's inspired by um, Scandinavian folk, folk tales and mythology and things like that. So we'll see, um, it just, I will definitely say this cover definitely was the main reason why I was really intrigued by it because it just looks gorgeous. So yes, this is the first book. Then we have the prompt of demonology and for this we need to have the word shadow in the title or in the series name. I had only one book, well two technically, on my shelf that would fit that and I was not happy about it because it's the Shadow and Bone series. So yeah, I was not too happy about it. However, apparently Lee Bardugo published a short story called The Tailor. So I have actually already read that, so I fulfilled this prompt. And this is basically a short story that takes place during the first book told from the tailor's uh, Genia's point of view. Um, if that's how you pronounce the name, I do not remember and I do not know. Then we have shape shifting and for that we need a creature with claws on the cover. And for that I have Medic Strikes by Aluna Andrews. A lion is a creature that has claws. Um, now, I have not read any thing of this since last year and I just need to get it finished because I do enjoy the story. I just haven't felt like reading it. So I just, I just need to kick myself in the butt and finish it because it's just over 300 pages. It's not that bad of a book, like page wise. So yes. And in this we're following Kate Daniels who kind of works like a detective, like a free agent kind of. Um, and she pick up, up, up talks in this world in which we have waves of magic and technology. And yes, 
and she what was his name Kuran yeah I actually was correct Kuran that um, is said lion on the cover and in this one there's a mystery with a fighting wing I like them I just need to read them or to be more precise finish it because I was enjoying it when I read it I just put it down and then just went poof then we have conjuration conjuration and that is sort of light on the cover and since I only listened to like 15 minutes of this during the month of March I'm putting the Weeping Tide by Amanda Foody on this because it's a straw I have hit my audiobooks are annoying and I can't <laughs> listen to them and focus on them so yeah and I'm counting it because I use them so that's where I'm putting this and this book follows well it's the sequel to um, The Accidental Apprentice in which we are following a group of like students kind of who are taking care of these beads that kind of gets locked to them in tattoos and in this particular one there is a disease in the ocean that makes the uh, beads uh, go mad that's it I'm just gonna keep on listening to this basically and actually make sure that I finish it because so far this month uh, this year I have actually like I'm one book ahead on Storytel I'm one book ahead I just I just need to keep going but I probably would have finished it this one already if it had been an ebook then the last one that I have in common with these two um uh, careers is spells and incantation and that is to read short a short story short stories or essays I have not picked anything out on this but I would probably just pick something up from or read something from Tor.com's webpage then let's go to the three prompts that are specific for necromancer the first one being animal studies and for that I have picked black clover volume 4 the crimson lion king and in this one this is set in a world that uh, when you reach a certain age you get a grimoire which allows you to perform magic and we are following two friends from this orphanage uh, they are peasants one who has a lot of magic and is very skillful in magic and then one who has zero magic and gets a grimoire of anti-magic and we are following the adventures with them being rivals slash brothers and yeah I don't really want to say more because I feel like that will have spoiled things in this but something is attacking them yes and honestly I get this from the library they got this volume 4 because I um, requested them to purchase it so they did I'm considering just buying this series because I have enjoyed this so much so yes and I have finished this one so I'm one prompt down well two prompts down okay the next prompt I had to do it to myself because I'm not I've said that I should have read this for two years so for inscription this is intimidating read and as I said I have said that I should read this for two years <sighs> Mörk Engel by uh, Lainey Taylor this English title is Daughter of Smoke and Bone yeah this yeah this is intimidating because I should have read this two years ago <laughs> and honestly uh, the synopsis here in Swedish doesn't really say anything and I don't want to actually look up what the English one is so I can't really say anything about what it's about but this is a very popular 
YA series here on booktube that it seems like everyone but me has read even though I know that's not true but yeah I am looking forward to it but I have to put this on as intimidating I mean two years and I bought it several years more years before that so yeah the next one I'm stretching a bit and that is uh, restoration and this is something that should feature healers. Now I didn't really feel like I should add in anything with healers so I just decided to yeah as I said stretch this a bit and I have this one on my TBR um, Lack and Urter by um, Opal Streisand. The English title is Sacred Herbs. So this is a list book with 40 herbs that can heal you. Um, yeah, it's just a list book. I've started reading it and yeah. I mean, this was how people used to do medicine. How healing used to work so I'm counting it but it's a bit of stretch but I just did not feel like I could add in another big book like novel on this list due to how my reading has been but then we have the prompt for uh, demonologists that I have left and that is uh, elemental studies which is a book under 100 pages the same thing here I have not decided on a book here I actually own two physical um, short stories that I could read for this or just tour.com. <laughs> I haven't decided yet. I will probably 100% finish it. Probably 100%. But I'm not in a rush to do decide what I will read for that. Then we have the five leftover prompts. So we will see if I will do any of these or not. Um, well, I will actually probably finish some of them. But I have picked out books for all but one of them. Or maybe two. I haven't decided yet. <laughs> yeah. But uh, the first one is Alchemy. And that is a book featuring romance. Yeah. But I have this one out from the library. This is The Elements of the Crow by K.L. Moody. And this is a fantasy romance. And this is about a girl who um, wants to escape. Um, okay, let me just figure out how to put this. So this follows a girl who wants to escape her life in the outer ring because this uh, Empire is built on three rings and she lives in the outermost uh, ring which where all the misery is basically and she joins this school because she wants to escape that life so she needs to prove herself to the Emperor and it turns out that there's one more person who is just as powerful as her she is and then some kind of secrets and attraction obviously i don't really know and i don't really want to read the synopsis too closely it sounded fun which was why i got it from the library but we'll see it's a pretty thick book it's all 400 pages but yeah probably maybe and obviously since this is not a book that I have to read yeah next we have art of illusion and for that uh, the prompt is trope you like and for that I have a middle grade and this this one this is how not to be a vampire slayer by Katie Birchall I thought this was a YA first but it's definitely middle grade she's 11 and I'm using an old Illumi crate as bookmark because I need more book bookmarks and this follows a girl who has who's not scared uh, can't seem to be scared of anything she loves horror movies and things like that and when her uncle dies or her dad's uncle I guess dies they inherit a house so they move there 
and the force nearby has some interesting rumors and it turns out that she is the next slayer in this area however the vampire that she meets that lives in the forest is a vegetarian or vegan vegetarian and yeah don't feel really nowhere else i have started this and it's i mean i've just started it i have just been i'm i'm just finished with chapter three i'm liking it so far and it is pretty short so yes but yeah i definitely thought that was a uh, ya book but it's middle grade and i'm not mad about it the next one we have top of tbr this i have no idea what to pick period because it could either be something that i've been approved of on netgalley or it could be just something that i want to read that i have out from the library maybe i don't know we'll see what i pick but that's like we'll see probably will be an arc and then the next one we have uh, artificery english is not my first language and for that we have earth setting so i'm putting this one back on my tbr how many times have i had said that this is part of my tbr so this is um uh, 20 000 years under the sea by Jules Verne. this is the swedish edition of it this is a sci-fi classic that takes place on earth and this follows a group of people who get saved by captain nemo who is the captain of the nautilus and they go on a journey around the world with this kind of crazy captain and his crew i read this years ago when i felt like i had to read classics but i didn't want to read classics so i read fantasy and sci-fi classics uh we're talking like one like 20 years ago so i'm gonna read this i want to read it as well so here it is for this prompt and again i don't technically have to complete it so i'm fine anyway and then the last prompt we have um Fisonics and divination yeah same thing there and the prompt for this is set in the future i have no idea what i will pick for that absolutely no idea um, I could go with a sci-fi, I could, I don't know, I could technically go with, if I finish this one, I feel like I want to continue, I can read the sequel, because this also takes place in the future. I have no idea, and I'm not going to say that I know, <laughs> because, yeah, in, in, yeah we'll see um i could also if i want to technically bend this a bit because set in the future i could technically well maybe not but in my head i could read an arc that's coming out because the arc like the book is coming out in the future bad one but technically i could well at least i could bend it enough so those are the 11 books that I have picked out. And then we have the three that's like, we'll see. And yeah, so this is the Magical Readathon. My Magical Readathon TBR with one audiobook. And yeah, we'll see. I definitely just need to finish that. Um, or do if it completely if I don't like it. But yeah. Are you participating in the Magical Read Thumb this uh, April? Please tell me down below and I'll see you next time. Bye!